the rnav systems this is the new and the modern age of aviation when we are flying directly from one point to the other this is possible because of rnav systems before people used to use vors and ndbs and they had certain limitations which means that you had to fly victor air was wide area augmentation system this system is pretty easy to understand but there are times when people over complicated and that's what i'm here to not do i will make it very simple just for you guys only for you we will use this diagram from the faa and understand how was works the was system remember is an augmentation system that increases the accuracy of the existing position calculation that our gps receivers are calculating so if our gps receiver calculates a certain position having was on board will help us make that position more accurate we saw the accuracy of G regular gps was plus minus plus minus 7 meters roughly was makes it accurate as 3 meters 95% of the time which is quite accurate if you think about it these are satellites far away in the space helping us calculate our position within 3 meters of where we actually are this is the reason was can be used for approaches like lpv approaches which are very close to ils approaches which is a precision approach and it helps us descend on an approved glide path which would not have been possible without the accuracy and helps us descend down to a decision altitude closer enough to the surface to see the runway in case of poor weather conditions so let's understand how was works was has a system of geostationary satellites around the united states geostationary satellites are satellites which rotate along with the earth which means that they will always stay on top of united states irrespective of where the earth is rotating it will rotate it will rotate with the earth staying on top of the united states at all time in addition to geostationary satellites there are was reference stations and was master stations on the ground and then there is a satellite ground uplink now a lot of times i've seen people focusing on the number of these satellites number of the ground number of the ground stations uplinks etc i don't care i'm not the one maintaining it and i don't think it is of practical importance for me as a pilot to know the number of wide area reference stations because it's not going to affect how i fly as long as i understand the working and the importance of was i am a good pilot so how does was use all of this to provide us an accurate position in this figure you can see that there's an aircraft which is using the gps satellites to calculate its position there should be four satellites to calculate our position the signal from these satellites is also taken by the wide area reference stations on the ground these reference stations go through the satellite signals and the accuracy of these signals we talked about the gps errors right the atmospheric interference the ca calculation and rounding errors the ephemeris error as, as well as the multipath errors so the wide area reference stations take all of this information and send it to the was master station the wide area master station is or the was master station determines how much of correction is required for the particular signals from these particular satellites based on this a correction message is generated this correction message is sent up in the sky via an uplink the uplink sends the correction message to the geostationary satellites we talked about these geostationary satellites are for was this satellite then sends that correction message to our aircraft now think of this there are four satellites in the sky we are using these four satellites to calculate our position the signals from these four satellites are also being sent to the wide area reference station the master station a corrective message is generated and then it's sent to the geostationary satellite the geostationary satellite will send the signal to us if we are equipped with was if we have was equipped gps we will be able to receive signal from this geostationary satellite this message basically tells you that hello sir the satellites that you are using right now have this particular error in the position calculation 
this is the correction that you need to do for your position to make it more accurate. This correction message that we sent that we received from the geostationary satellite helps us correct the position that was calculated using the four satellites earlier. This is why it is called an augmentation system. It makes it larger. It makes the accuracy better using that corrective message. And this wouldn't have been possible without the reference station and the master stations monitoring the satellite signals. This is how the WAS system works. So to summarize, we have the basic constellation for GPS, the 31 satellites that we talked about. Then we also have geostationary satellites. I think there are around three. These geostationary satellites are WAS satellites. The GPS satellites send signal to our aircraft to calculate our position. These signals are also sent separately to wide area reference stations and wide area master stations where a corrective message is generated to correct for the errors of these satellites. This corrective message is sent to the geostationary satellite using an uplink. If our aircraft is WAS equipped, it will be able to receive this correction message from the geostationary satellite and correct our existing position calculated which we had calculated using the four satellites. It's amazing how it works and if you think about it, this occurs in a relatively short amount of time. This is how technologically advanced navigation has become.